How does one know when the community is dying? Air pollution, water contamination, global warming, resource depletion, poverty, unemployment, and crime all arise from rapid urbanization with poor infrastructure. This can only be remedied through the construction of sustainable cities and communities. Sustainable cities and communities minimize waste, reduce social, economic, and environmental challenges, and optimize resource use so that future generations can flourish. Today, approximately 3.5 billion people live in cities. Inequality is a major concern as approximately 830 million people live in slums. Many more live in unregulated, unhygienic, unsafe, highly populated settlements. These are prone to natural disasters and immense climate change. Urban energy consumption is also staggering. Although cities only comprise 3% of the Earth's land, they account for 75% of carbon emissions and 60 to 80% of energy consumption. It is predicted that by 2050, two thirds of the world's population will live in cities. Thus, we need to plan ahead to ensure substantial healthcare, education, and solutions to combat pollution, flooding, energy wastage, and climate change. The answer lies in building sustainable cities. But is building sustainable cities feasible? Is it relevant in low to middle income settings? Yes, in these settings, it is even more urgent. But we need partnerships between governments, businesses, and citizens. The five <coughs> sustainable cities, Copenhagen, San Francisco, Vancouver, Stockholm, and Singapore, can be our inspiration. All in all, we need to unite and create sustainable cities in which we can all live in harmony.